What's going on guys? So, uh, I know a lot of you guys are getting into that mug log. And so I decided to pick up a mug and Orlando's gonna teach me how to ship it, right? So, um, it's scary, right? Like stuff that's breakable. He's got a way that's fast, cheap, easy, safe. Okay, so he's gonna show us how to do it with this mug. And then stay tuned at the end of the episode because we're gonna go take it outside and test how durable it is. So, let's yeah, see. Let's see how it goes. Thanks, Mike. I hope that this video is helpful to many of you as many of you have entered that mug life and you're trying to just figure out how to ship out your mug. And some of you are brand new and you've never really shipped out a mug or you have and you're kind of like, ah, I don't know if that was right. And a lot of you are probably veteran resellers that have been selling mugs for a long time. So what I'm gonna share with you isn't anything new, but maybe it's a good reminder. A couple of the reasons we're showing this video is one, we wanna help you pack your mug in a way and ship it in a way that it's safe and arrives to your buyer without a problem. The other reason is to help your bottom line, right? Because a mug could be expensive. It could cost you $10 or more and postal rates are going up. And this way, all you have to pay for is the cost of a padded flat rate envelope and you're good to go. So I hope this is informative. I'm gonna start off with this awesome Disney mug that Mike ended up picking up. And you know, if you're wondering about mug life, Okay, mug life is good when you have good items that sell for good money, right? You wanna have that fire ROI. So as we get started, you need a few materials. Okay, you need to make sure you have your padded flat rate envelope, which you can only order through the USPS website. Okay, you can't pick this up at your local post office. So put in those orders, they are free. And then you need a pair of scissors. You need some shipping tape. You need a box, which you're gonna end up using. And I already cut this a little bit. Right, so it's already open, but it doesn't have to be an eBay box. It could be any box, but it's gonna be used to wrap your mug in order to protect it. And then you need bubble wrap. I have two strips of bubble wrap to put around the mug, and then I have another strip, which I, I may end up cutting in half to protect the handle, because the handle is the part that breaks the most when it comes down to mugs. Now, before I get started, I wanna make sure that you end up subscribing to our channel if you're brand new. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, smash that like button, and if you have questions or comments and you wanna join the conversation, make sure to put something down below in the comments. We would love uh, to hear from you. All right, so let's get this started. So you take the bubble wrap, okay, make sure you're using this, the area where the bubbles are facing, and you put your mug in. So I'm gonna roll this mug in right now into this bubble wrap. Now you have to make sure that it's really nice and tight. Okay, it can't be all loose because in the end, you know, when you're shipping items, you, you don't want items moving around or jostling around inside. So you gotta make sure it's really tight. And then you take the top portions and you put it into the mug. Now some of you may be asking, why am I not just using the handle when applying the tape? It's just my own preference because at times I worry that if I do that, I might end up breaking the mug or scratching the mug. So I prefer to just take it off the shipping tape, uh, you know, dispenser and just putting it onto the mug. So make sure you get it in there really tight. And then I take another strip of bubble wrap and I also put it on there. Now I'm gonna end up, uh, I'm gonna tear a piece of it and I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna wrap the handle tighter just because, you know, again, I, like I said before, that is the part that is most vulnerable uh, to being damaged. Now, some of you may ask, have you ever had a mug break, you know, while shipping? I've never had. I've had lamps break, I've had boots go missing, but I've never had a mug break using this method. Now, there's a first to everything, but that's why you set priority because you end up getting that extra insurance, especially if you buy your shipping label off of eBay. All right, now that that is all tight, Okay, you get your piece of cardboard and you're gonna roll the cardboard, not gonna roll, you're gonna wrap the cardboard around the mug and you're only gonna use as much cardboard as this is necessary. So right there, that's all I needed. Now, 
I might be wasting this part of the box, but I can always reuse this when I'm shipping another item or another mug in, in case I ever need some kind of filler. So you'll move your mug, don't let it just roll around, okay? And then I'm gonna cut this piece, all right? So I can just use what I need. Because again, you wanna be able to get this, we're gonna call it a monstrosity, <laughs> into your padded flat rate envelope. All right, so here now I'm gonna wrap it and you need to make sure this is nice and tight, okay? So you're gonna have to have a firm grip on it. Now, if it's hard for you, you know, and you got somebody that can help you that's nearby, that's cool too. Eventually over time you get better at this, okay? I've done this multiple times and even still, I have a lot to learn. I can do this a lot better. All right, now that that's nice and tight, okay? I get a, I have to, sorry, I got it. I, I have to cut along the creases. Okay, that's what you end up doing. All right, so I'm gonna cut along each of these creases here in the entire mug. The more creases you can cut on or cut over it, the better, because it allows you to fold down these pieces. So I'm gonna do the top part first. And if your mug goes down a little bit, that's okay. That's not a big deal, because eventually you're gonna push it back. Okay, and you wanna make sure this is as tight as possible. Okay, so you see how that's all covered right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna tape this down. Again, you have to make sure that it's nice and tight. Okay, you don't want items moving while they're being shipped. All right, so again, cutting creases. Sometimes it takes a little bit of more uh, power to get that cut just right. Okay, so you're gonna, again, you're folding these pieces in, right? So you see this, this is pretty, it's pretty tight in here. I'm gonna cut this a little bit with my hand there. Okay, and then you fold it down, right? It's nice and tight again. Okay, so take your tape and you're gonna tape again. and you want it nice and tight. Another reason you want it nice and tight is because you're trying to get into the padded flat rate envelope and you also want to make sure that there's no kind of loose tape because what's going to do, it's going to catch inside the bubbling of the padded flat rate envelope and that's going to be a pain. And you'll see that in a little bit here. All right, so now that that's all done, you see that's all nice and tight, we're going to get this into a padded flat rate envelope. Now, this mug is a little different, right? Because you saw that the mouth was a little wider. So it might be a little bit more of a struggle, but you can definitely get it in there. Okay, so I'm taking the, my padded flat rate. I'm taking my mug that's encased in bubble wrap and not cardboard. And I'm gonna put it in the envelope. And it's pretty safe right now. So it's okay if you, you know, you have to push it against something a little bit or you need to kind of, you know, you gotta massage it in there a little bit, but you can get the mug in there. Right, see, it's catching. I didn't end up, <laughs> I didn't cut my tape really well, but see, it's in there, okay? So you get it in there, and some of you might be asking, like, is that okay? Can I put it in a padded flat rate envelope, even though it's such an awkward shape? And the answer is yes. If it fits, it ships. Never had a problem, I've sold tons of mugs, and this has always worked for me, okay? So, you just seal it, okay, you put your tape on there, and it is ready to go. So you save some money, and now you have a safe mug to go wherever it needs to go. All right, guys, so this is my mug. Orlando promises it's gonna be safe and durable. Hope so, so we're gonna go out and test just how durable this method of packaging is. You've gotta watch this, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna put it to the test. Here we go. Mug light. All right, so we made it to the park. Let's see if we can give that mug a mug life beating. Yeah.
Mug Life. There's our mug. What do you think? Well, I'm not sure that's our mug anymore. Well, it definitely doesn't look like a mug anymore. Oh, I, no, you told me it was going to be secure. This was safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said it was safe when you send it in the mail to the post office. So unless the post office is going to play baseball or get mug life on it, I think you're going to be okay most of the time. I don't know. Sometimes they get a little crazy with packages. But you're right. Um, this thing was sturdy. It I mean, was. How long did it take, do you think, before it actually broke? I want to say probably by the third or fourth time that I hit it with the baseball bat. You're going to admit to them that you didn't hit it on the first try? No, no, whoa, whoa, I didn't say that. They just had to do a few more takes. Yeah, because it's like you didn't know how to hit a baseball what, 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 with a bat. Where are you going with this? Let's just say you should stick to reselling. Yeah, the, the, the mug life uh, guys, might not be for you. Probably true, probably yeah, true. So, But... At least we were able to show you guys how to properly pack a mug, save money, and make sure it goes safely through the USPS. Of course, there's no guarantees. You know, there's always that one time that things fall apart. But for the most part, this has been very successful. Yeah, and FYI, we didn't use my Disney mug. This was a, a cheap mug. Disney mug is nice and safe. Like I said, durable. This is probably going to make it through the mail. There you go. All right. So as always, make sure to be real. Be relevant. Be reselling. Peace. Peace.